Hi guys. Nine times out of ten, the things that are often overlooked are exactly where your attention should be. Mm. We're in a social media world, a world where everything is visual. But the funny thing is, a lot of women are still so blind. Mm. They see the dollar signs, the status, the lifestyle, all of which are attached to a man that's not worth her time. But that's exactly who gets all of it. See, what you don't understand is the same man that you look down on because he was working a nine to five, regular guy, out every day grinding to make it, is the same man who would have treated you right. But you overlook the person you should have seen. And that's the case with so many women. A person will show you who they truly are when you have nothing to offer them. When you have little to no benefit to offer is when you will see what a person is truly about and where your relationship stands. <laughs> She out here preaching, boy. Jesus Christ. She out here preaching. Mm. Mm. I was finna say. I was finna say something, cuz. Mm. A lot of women neglect the beauty of dating a struggling man, but that's where the foundation of trust is built. The loyalty, the commitment, because he's not trying to win you over with any money because he doesn't have it. <laughs> he's going to win you over with effort, consistency, and that comes with respect. See, you only value and respect something that you had to work hard to get. He mm. understands the sweat, the long days, the living paycheck to paycheck, the mm. goal setting, working overtime just to take you somewhere nice, etc., that's where 90% of the time the guy with wealth falls short. He has no respect for you. Mm -hmm. He didn't put in any effort with you. Uh -huh. He didn't have to work to build a foundation with you. He, he pretty much you. bought your to ass. Him, you're just another prize on the shelf, something to pull out when he wants to play yep. with it and throw back when he's done. That's what most wealthy men do. They buy things because they can, not because they need it. Hell, sometimes not even because they, they want, want it. it. Just, just because to have they it. can. They're more intrigued with the fact that they can buy you Instead of actually being intrigued with hey, yo, you, I like to him, her. you come at a monetary cost. And he can buy a thousand more of you because you come a dime a dozen. I like You're nothing special. But with the struggling man, your love was bought with authenticity and genuineness that was built on solid ground. And that's the beauty within the struggle. So until the next video, I'll see you hey, yo. Bye. Every time I see this woman's video, she preaching. Why she not as like popping as, as Cynthia G, bro? Like she be stating some facts. Let me tell y'all something. This goes for, I'm going to say it for men and women, okay? Women, we all they all want a provider, which means that he has to be financially stable. But the thing that comes with that is dudes that are financially stable, you know, they look good when you post the trips that they can take you on and the stuff that they can buy for you and all that and the life that they can provide for you. They don't need you. So they don't, they're not going to really treat you with respect, <laughs> You feel what I'm saying? You're just a trophy to them. Something that they bought, like she said. So, stop being a gold digger. Find you somebody who got a 9 to 5. To be honest with you, now, I ain't saying go find you some, excuse me, I ain't saying go find you no bum off the street. But you find you a guy who has dreams and who's working on his dreams and who's working. You know, he has a 9 to 5. He's probably making fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 a year. But he's working. To get to that million dollar paycheck. He's working to get to that $200,000 paycheck. Them, them the dudes you need to keep around, son. Them the dudes you need to keep around. And it goes vice versa for men. Stop trying to get women that are impressed with your money. Stop trying to get women that are impressed with your, with your bank account. You feel what I'm saying? Because... The thing about having money and the thing about being the thing about being successful, you never know what could happen tomorrow. Today you could be up, tomorrow you could be down. But if you find you somebody who's down for you and not down for the things that you could provide and the lifestyle that you could provide, when you fall from your grace, that's if you fall from your grace. That cushion that's going to be there for you is the genuine love that that woman had for you before your wealth, before you know, before your bank account, before the lifestyle that you could provide, she just see you. She don't see the money. She don't see none of that. She just sees the person that you are. She's in love with the person that you are. And those are the women that you want to keep around you. Okay, so I, 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 break, I broke it down for both. You know what I'm saying? Women, stop being gold diggers. 
But men, stop chasing gold diggers. Stop trying to impress these females with your bank account. Because the, the females that you are attracting with your money is not the females that are good for you. It's a saying, man. Um, Money brings the women that you want. But being broke brings the woman that you need. Okay? Money brings the women that you want. Being broke brings the women that you need. I feel as though that, that's probably why it's so hard for like actors and just famous people in general to just find genuine love. You feel me? Because everybody around them, especially the women, only with them for their money. They only with you because you could put them in positions to succeed. Imagine... Imagine just being around somebody that just want to be around you. They don't want to be around your persona. They don't want to be around your your materialistic things. They don't give a fuck about that. They just want to be around you. That's genuine love, son. And that, that shit is special. Alright, man. That's, I just wanted to do this video for y'all.